Do you like that feel of small town living, but you want to be near the necessities of life? In this video, we're going to talk about three small towns outside of St. George, Utah. We're going to use Google Maps to see where they're located, what some of the major roadways are, and talk about some big projects that are in the works. Hi, I'm Shari Harris with Fathom Realty. If this is your first time to the channel, and you want to know everything about living in the St. George area and what's happening with the market, make sure to subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. Today we're talking about three small towns outside of St. George, Leeds, Liverkin, and Tokerville. And we're gonna be using Google Maps to see where they're located. So let's get started. Here we are in Google Maps, and you can see that we've got Leeds up here outlined. And then right over here is Tokerville, and then down here is Liverkin, the three towns we're gonna to be talking about today. Um, just to give you kind of where we're at down here, you will see is St. George. This I-15 runs all the way from San Diego, California to up in Montana um, by the Canada border. So tons of traffic passing through here. And if you were to jump on here in St. George, you are 18 miles to the exit over here in Leeds. Let's zoom in a little bit on Leeds. So you can see Leeds is like really a strange shape. All this area around here is beautiful red mountains, red cliffs, um, it's the Red Cliffs Desert Reserve. So this is all protected land and just breathtaking views. Um, lots of hiking trails, just beautiful area to live. Um, you might've caught my other video where I talk about Harrisburg. That's just down here and Quell Creek State Park are pretty close. So this road right here used to be the main road that everybody used to go um, through this area before interstate, before the I-15. And so everybody would drive through the middle of town. And then when I-15 came along, um, that began the bypass of the town. And they actually um, really are happy <laughs> that people, it's not like in the Cars movie where they're sad and they want people to come back to their town. Here in Leeds, they are grateful <laughs> that people are on the interstate and um, can bypass their small town. There's not much, um, like as far as like businesses in Leeds, they have, let's see if I can kind of, there's like right in here is a little strip of businesses. Um, there's the Mexican food. There's um, just like a little shop. I think the post office might be there. So just a few little tiny things there. Um, right here where you can go um, under the freeway and go out here to Silver Reef. Silver Reef has been annexed into Leeds, but once upon a time, Silver Reef um, was a mining community, um, had about 1,500 to 2,000 people um, there at its prime. And um, silver was like, it was a booming silver mines going on and then silver lost its value and everybody abandoned the area and it became a ghost town. So if you go out there, there's a fun uh, museum, a tiny little gel there, and, and they've got some mock um, setups of the mine so you can kind of see what it was like for them as well as there is a couple cemeteries out there because death um, is quite common with mining and so um, there's two really cool cemeteries out there and just kind of a fun area to explore and then there are a bunch of homes out there and um, beautiful views I mean it's so beautiful you just feel like you're out away from everything um, just peaceful and then coming back into town, there's a park and there's just um, mainly homes all along this um, street. There is the RV park. Um, if you go in, oh, right over here on the other side of the freeway, we have the Zion Vineyard. So there's, um, it's a little bit cooler in Leeds than in St. George. And they have found um, that grapes grow there really well. Um, grapes don't need tons of water and the growing season is long. And so there is a vineyard there. So um, they have a tasting room there. And when I was over there checking it out, I noticed that they have an old cemetery um, in this area as well with some of those really cool um, old headstones. You're gonna think I'm obsessed with cemeteries, but I was just kind of 
I was out exploring and saw those three cemeteries recently, so they're on my mind. Anyway, so Leeds has a population of under a thousand, so they're not even as big as what Silver Reef was when it was a booming town. Um, the the people who live there are shareholders of their own water company, so they are everywhere. All the other cities are part of the Washington um, Conservancy District, Water Conservancy District, um, but they have their own water company um, and everybody owns a part of it, shareholders, um, as well as they, homes there are on septic tanks. And so um, that kind of limits the growth. Um, there's rules and regulations with septic tanks, um, how close homes can be built and stuff like that. So um, at this time, they're not seeing tons of growth and they really kind of love that. You find that there's a lot of people there who they are living in, um, you know, a great grandparents home and they're just, the history is rich. They have preserved um, a lot of the stories from the past and buildings and um, it's just kind of, it's cool how much they um, care about um, their ancestors and the lives they lived and love to share those stories. So now we are going to go on over to Tokerville. So we're right there at Leeds. Now we are up here at Tokerville. Um, at this exit here, Anderson Junction, there is a great big RV park that's recently been built and they're adding more amenities. Um, there's a gas station coming in. So at the moment, there's not much there, but it's growing um, quite a bit. So what makes this exit so popular is the 17. And that is because you will take the 17 if you are coming from the north on Interstate 15. If you are headed to Zion National Park or to the Grand Canyon or Lake Powell, you're most likely going to take this exit. So as you take this exit, um, this road was never meant for that much like traffic for all these places, especially when you come here into Tokerville. Um, it actually can feel a little uh, scary with um, there's homes and or you're trying to get to a side street. I know when I'm out there showing homes, sometimes um, I'm slowing down to turn and I'm not sure if the car behind me is going to is paying attention. So um, it has caused some stress um, on the community. And so they are super excited about this big project that is happening. And I don't know if we can see anything on the map to show. Yeah, I don't think there's, um, but pretty well, what they're doing is pretty soon after you take this exit here, they're putting in a new road and it's going to bring you around here on, over on this side. And then as you um, are entering uh, Liverkin, it will reconnect to the 17. So they are saying that will remove about 85% of the traffic off of this main road, preserving kind of the heart of their community. Um, also this road, um, that's where they're gonna put a lot more of like their businesses um, because it is a growing, it is a growing community. And so they're gonna keep their small town fill and, but also have this outer area that is growing. Um, their population right now is just over 2,000 people. Um, and they are, let's see, they currently have somewhere around 750 homes and they're expecting this new parkway to add four to 6,000 homes along it and a variety of businesses, um, which will really help with um, kind of, you need that sales tax base for, um, a community to thrive. So I'm, I'm pretty excited for them to be able to do that in one area of Tokerville, but then preserve the other area and keep that small town fill, but have a lot of businesses um, nearby. Another thing about Tokerville, so the Washington Water Conservancy District has plans to preserve as much water as possible. We live in a desert and we are growing a lot. And so um, they work hard to um, put reuse systems in place, encouraging uh, businesses, churches, um, individuals like not to to kind of do desert landscape, um, not grass strips by the road or large grassy areas that aren't meant for being played on. Um, we have grass for running around and playing, but we are removing some of the grass 
um, where the water's being wasted on it. So um, that being said, one of the, part of their plan is reservoirs and we have quite a few um, to kind of preserve the water. And so there is one going in right here along the 15, um, really quite close to the exit. Um, it'll be on 115 acres of leased BLM land. Um, so it'll be an alternative source uh, for irrigation water. So some of the water that's been going towards irrigation will now be able to go towards drinking water. Um, I'm not sure when they're gonna have that done. We, you can see a lot of um, dirt being moved as they are working on building the foundation and, and the dam. Uh, the dam, um, will be 1,200 feet long and 120 feet in height. Uh, the reservoir will be 110 feet deep at the deepest. And so uh, once it's done, they're going to stock it with fish and open it for like non-motorized recreation, like the paddle boards, kayaking, stuff like that. So um, that will be a fun place to go and cool off in the near future, as well as help us with uh, the much needed um, preservation of water. And Tokerville does have some businesses along here, but you see a lot more businesses as you cross over into Leverkin. So let's, okay, now here we are in Leverkin. And you'll see this main road that we we're talking about, the parkway comes over here and then they enter into Leverkin. And you will find more restaurants and businesses along this main road, um, lots of hotels, a lot of people, um, can save a little money to stay in this area uh, when they're visiting Zion National Park. Zion National Park is about 30 minutes from there. Uh, we also have a lot of people who live in this area who work um, at Zion National Park at some of the restaurants and hotels over there. Um, they just find the housing is uh, limited there, uh, expensive, and so they need an alternative area. And so we do have people that this is their commute here along uh, the nine, and you'll see, you go through a bunch of little small towns, Virgin, Grafton, Rockville, and then you go up here into Springdale and then the entrance there to Zion National Park, which I love having it so close and being able to take day trips to that area. Another reason that this road is so busy is that if you continue on through Leverkin, you're now into Hurricane and you come over here, uh, the 17s become the nine, and then you turn up in here to the 59, and this is the road that people are gonna take that are headed to uh, Lake Powell or Grand Canyon. And so Hurricane, um, also a smaller town, um, has a bunch of businesses through here as well. And if you're living in uh, Leverkin or Tokerville or Leeds, Hurricane has a Walmart um, kind of down in this area. Let's see if we can actually, yeah, there's the DMV um, is in Hurricane. And then yeah, the Walmart is right here. Uh, so that's pretty close as well as um, this main street strip here in Hurricane has a lot of um, other restaurants and grocery stores and stuff like that. So, and there is um, some medical offices in Hurricane as well. Um, and then if you're headed to, you know, um, over to St. George, a 30 minute ish, 30 minute ish, depending <laughs> where you're coming from drive. Um, there is all the medical care there on um, bigger stores and um, can really take care of most of your errands. Or if you're like me, I do a lot of online shopping, so I don't um, need the big stores. <laughs> so um, anyway, so those are the three really small towns. Um, Leverkin has a population of just under 5,000. So you've got just under 5,000 in Leverkin, Tokerville um, just under 2,000, and then under 1,000 for Leeds. So still just small, fun communities to enjoy that small town feel, but you're so close to all the necessities of life. If you have any questions about living in the St. George area, I would love to help you no matter when you're planning your move. All my contact information is below and I will talk to you soon.